Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we will install Spring Boot CLI in our system. So, if we are installing Spring Boot CLI, there are so many advantages. Is a command line tool that you can use to quickly prototype with Spring Boot. It let you run Groovy scripts, which means that you have a familiar Java like syntax without so much boilerplate code so we have so many options one is to manual installation using the download link so another one is another option is uh, to download by command line itself so if we are going here this is one of the uh, Spring Boot CLA release version so we can download that but i am trying to do from command line itself using command line some commands so i am going to open a terminal window here after opening that i will execute some commands and will try to install using the command line so this will be possible with the mac 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 os so if you are on a mac and use mac ports so th th that's the way we can install our application so i am going to install i'm going to run this command spring boot okay it's asking for my password then To port command not found so I need to have port command installed first so for map port uh, I need to download that before going to the port command so here I will take that window to here so we can see that okay so my pro package is there so I am trying to download that installer open with the installer so it will give me a okay so I got something here okay the package is meant to be installed on mac os but it is a older version or something that's why it's not installed on my system so i will try with another version that is the latest latest version i guess Two six two. This is the one that I try and I fail with that one. The package is meant to be installed on Mac OS ten ten, so it's not possible to install on that. So probably latest release. There's the one latest release. Maybe I will try with the Lion install. It's also saying the same thing so I guess it's not possible to install in that way so if we are brew install that also possible so I will show you that window here what are the possible ways we can install this one SDK man is another one but that also Mac port installation, command line completion, and okay, so we will go for the traditional approach here. So, if we do to 
to I need to download that I already download in my local so it is there in my download folder so from there I will take it spring boot where is that exactly spring boot okay it's in my download so I am not looking on my downloads right now so downloads okay here it is so this is a it's already ex extracted one I guess okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename from here spring CLI spring CLI so from command line I'm going to create a here CD downloads and uh, what I need to do is move my spring CLI no such file or directory so there is no opt folder so what I'm going to do is use uh, user local or something I need to check my folder initially before I am running this command so what I'm going to do is I will start another window here new window and inside that I will try opt and there is no order opt so I'm going to use a folder here here I have so many things locally still if I'm going local ls I have been my SQL map and everything is here so I will move my bring CLI to this location use uh, local okay so I'm okay I will copy this command again copy paste here oh, again it's, it's behaving weird way okay so there is no opt folder so we are going to local and inside this user okay so let's move into that location if we are going here we can see that one spring CLI okay so spring CLI ls there will be a bin folder so that's our home path I need to change so I need to go to door bash profile and add the path there So do nano bash profile will ask for my password okay here I am going to export my path I will copy okay I will copy the sender things and I will do for spring You're moving into the end. I'm passing here Spring CLI.
then I'm going outside from this window and what I'm going to do is I need to use the source bash for it. Okay, so we are uh, we are completed that installation and to here there is some few things to check whether I have this one installed or not spring bush okay still use our local spring CLI Spring command not found. Okay, this window is our window. I know spring version. Okay, spring CLI version two to do and yeah. Here we are ready to do our development. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice evening.